This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today here in San Diego at the American Diabetes Association meeting where researchers have reported what many are calling impressive results with intravitreal injections of the anti-VEGF drug ranibizumab in diabetic macular edema. I spoke with lead author Dr. David Boyer of Retina Vitreous Medical Group in Los Angeles who presented the results at a late-breaking clinical trial session here. Well, the two studies were designed similarly and, the, and they came with similar results. Um, there was certainly an overwhelming uh, improvement of vision that occurred very suddenly within a week and maintained itself over the 24-month entire study in both groups that were treated, either the 0.3 milligram or the 0.5 milligram Lucentis treatment group compared to sham. The uh, overall results were about 10 to 12-letter improvement uh, at the end of 24 months in the treatment group versus approximately three to four letters in the uh, sham group. Despite these good results, ranibizumab is unlikely to completely replace laser photocoagulation. Well, this study also included laser photocoagulation therapy. It was not a head-to-head -head study to look at that. The laser was used both in the treatment group as well as in the sham group, and, and patients were eligible for laser every three months throughout the course of the treatment. Laser treatment is still, you know, the gold standard and, and is still going to be used even when these drugs become approved. And But the problem with laser is that it takes a long time for it to work. And though it does stop moderate visual loss or three-line loss of vision, you really don't get the visual improvement that was seen with the use of these drugs during the study. So you could expect perhaps maybe 15% of patients being able to obtain three lines of improvement whereas in the study over 40% of, you know, of the patients were able to get three lines of improvement, over 60% were able to get two lines of improvement. And the um, side effects of having laser very close to the center are also avoided. The side effects would include little scotomas, actually being able to see the little spots where the laser was applied, so that with this treatment you can avoid some of the side effects and get a very rapid, sustained improvement of vision. It's unknown whether these results would generalize to the other anti-VEGF drug, Bevacizumab or Avastin. We've been using Bevacizumab or Avastin now um, because of the fact that, that Lucentis or Ranibizumab is not available. Um, we, we recently have had the CAT trial that showed that as far as efficacy was concerned, the two were very, very close to each other in, if given monthly. Um, hopefully we're going to have a study in the near future that will compare head-to-head -head, uh, for the use in diabetic retinopathy, which may be a different disease, and they may behave very, very differently. Certainly there are patients who do very well with the injection of, of uh, bevacizumab, seem to respond very well. But there are other patients that don't seem to respond at all, and when you treat them with ranibizumab, seem to do better. So. These are obviously anecdotal and there's no you know, head-to-head -head comparison. So once we get a head-to-head -head comparison, we'll have two things. Well, number one, we'll know whether they are effective, equally effective, if one may be more effective in one group than another. And number two, we'll have safety. We don't have any long-term safety data on Avastin, so I think that we really need to get more of that before we can start using it in this group of vasculopathic individuals. So more good news from the RISE and RIDE trials suggesting that ranibizumab can partially restore vision in diabetic macular edema. Here at the ADA meeting in San Diego, I'm Crystal Fenn, MedPage Today.